What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Everyday Builds. Today I just wanted to take a minute to show you how I clean and protect all of my cast iron surfaces. I just picked up this 8 inch joiner that you see next to me here. It was used and the top is in good condition but it's a little bit sticky. It's, it's got this tackiness to it that doesn't allow you to push the material through as easy as it should be. This isn't a big deal, it just needs a little bit of cleanup and to have a new protective finish applied to it. For the protective finish I chose to use Bow Shield T9 which is really popular, recommended by a lot of people, but I've never used it. I typically use Johnson Paste Wax, which has been used forever, highly recommended by most people, but I want to give something different a try. So make sure you stay tuned till the end where I'll give you a little comparison and what I think. The first thing I like to do is remove anything that might be in my way during the cleaning process. After that, I just do a general clean of the surface. I remove any dust that I can, and then I go over the top with an all-purpose cleaner. In this case, it's Simple Green. Once I get the surface clean, I'm then going to mask off anything that I just want to protect while I'm doing this. And after that, I'm going to coat the entire surface in something like WD-40, but in my case, I prefer to use this PB Blaster, which is just a little bit stronger. I'm going to coat the entire surface and let that sit for about three hours. The goal here is to just flood the entire surface, whether you're using PB Blaster or WD-40, you really just want a nice even coat across the entire surface. Spraying it out of the can doesn't give you that even coverage that I'm looking for, so afterwards I take a rag and I just work it around until it covers the entire surface. Once it's fully covered, let it sit for at least three hours. Now that it's had time to soak, I'm going to go over the surface with this gray scotch Bright pad, which is just a really fine abrasive. It's also really helpful to get yourself one of these handles, which are great because you can cut this scotch Bright pad to be the perfect size for this handle to go right on. And any tools or materials that you see in this video will be linked in the description below. Scrubbing the surface with this abrasive is just going to help remove any of those contaminants that are stuck on. It'll help even out the surface and even take out some of the rust areas that you may have. Next, I'll wipe down the entire surface to get all the PB Blaster WD-40 off. And then I'm going to go back over it with some denatured alcohol just to remove any grease that might be left over so that when we put that final protection layer on, there's nothing underneath. And one more thing, if you're looking for some type of disposable shop rag, maybe you use shop towels now or something like that, I highly recommend, they're called Wipe All. I get them on Amazon. And they are incredible, way better than anything I've ever used. And if you're someone who uses Rubio, they're really great. That's why I got them was to remove Rubio. But for anything around the shop, these are by far the best shop rag, disposable shop rag that I've ever used. This first wipe down is really just to get off all the PB blaster and anything that came up with that scrub. And I'll follow that up with some denatured alcohol. Just pour it over the surface and wipe it down. This is going to remove any oils that may be left on the surface so that next we can apply that protection layer. At this point, the surface has been stripped of any oils or waxes it has on it, so now it's time to add that protection layer back. And for that, I'm using Bow Shield T9, which is a rust and corrosion preventative. This stuff is great because it's really easy to apply. All I did was spray it on and then I used a shop rag to make sure that it was a nice even coat over the entire surface. You know you're doing a good job when you can see a reflection on your surface. I left it to dry for about an hour, and then I came back and gave it a light buff. At this point, it was still a little bit wet, and this just helped even everything out for a nice consistent finish. Alright, it's the next day, I ran out of time yesterday, I had to go do something. 
but this is at a really good spot where everything's clean, the T9 is on, and now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I can kind of give you a little comparison between these two. But when I came out here this morning, I did a little test with a piece of scrap wood where I just slid it along the surface of my jointer and my table saw. My table saw has two coats of paste wax on it and this just has the T9. And I noticed a big difference in something. And that was friction reduction. On my table saw, the piece slides very smoothly. There's very little friction. But on here, I felt a little bit more resistance than I'm used to. I'm used to having paste wax on most of my surfaces and I really enjoy the slipperiness of it. And that got me thinking that I don't think these are really competitors. I think they can both serve different purposes. The T9 is great for protecting your surfaces and keeping them from any rust or corrosion, but it falls short in the friction reduction category. And paste wax on the other hand, where maybe it doesn't always protect as well, but it gives you a surface where material just glides along it really, really nicely, which I love. So instead of seeing these as competitors, I'm gonna use them as kind of complements to one another. I'll put the T9 down first, which is gonna give me that superior protection, and then I'll put the paste wax over top of it, which is gonna give me that nice anti-friction coating. If you've never applied paste wax before, it's just like waxing a car. And if you've never waxed a car before, it's really, you just smear it on. I like to do it in a circular motion and you leave it to dry. This is what the paste wax will look like when it's first applied. And you wait about 15 to 20 minutes until it kind of hazes over a little bit and then you just buff it all off. And here's one of the downsides of paste wax. Buffing it on is great, it's really not too bad, but buffing it off is definitely a lot more labor intensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Once I get the majority of the paste wax buffed off with the shop towel, I like to go back with a microfiber towel and it really gives it just a perfect finish. And don't forget to hit your fence while you're at it. And that's it, really not that complicated. Do this every two to three months and it'll keep your tools looking brand new. I'm really excited about this two-step system that I did in this video with the T9 as that base layer of protection with the paste wax on top, I think is perfect for my tools and is going to be something that I use going forward. And like I said earlier, if you need any of the products you saw me use in this video, you can always find those linked in the description down below. I hope that you found this video helpful and now you're confident enough to go do this on your own tools in your shop. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. But until next time, I'm Jordan. This is Everyday Builds. We'll see you in the next one.